In this video, we're going to talk about direct variation. What is that? Direct variation is the relationship between two variables, in this case, x and y. Here's a graph. x is the independent variable, y is the dependent variable. When y varies directly with x, what we're going to have is a linear relationship. The equation that corresponds to it is y is equal to kx. As x increases, y will increase at a proportional rate. k is known as the constant of variation. If you want to calculate k in this situation, it's simply y divided by x. So feel free to write this down as we're going to be using this information to solve this problem. So let's start with number one. Y varies directly with X. If Y equals eight when X is two, what is Y when X is seven? So the first thing we wanna do, step one, is to calculate K, the constant of variation. Keep in mind, K is Y divided by X. Y is eight, X is two. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So k is 4. That's the first thing that we want to do. The second thing that we need to do is write the equation. So the equation is y is equal to kx. What we're going to do is we're going to plug in k into that equation. So the equation is y is equal to 4x. Now that we have the equation, we could answer the second part of the question. What is y when x is 7? So now we need to plug in x. We're going to replace x with 7. So this is going to be 4 times 7 is equal to 28. So that's the answer for part A. That is the value of y when x is 7. Now go ahead and try part B. If y equal nine when x is negative four, what is y when x is 11? So step one, we're gonna calculate k. Step two, we're gonna write the equation. And then step three, we're gonna calculate the value of y. So k is y over x for direct variation y is 9, x is negative 4. So we can write k as negative 9 over 4. So now let's write the equation. y is equal to kx. So the equation is y is equal to negative 9 over 4 times x. Now the last step is to plug in the value of x to get y. So we want to calculate the value of y when x is 11. Negative 9 times 11 is negative 99. Now we can't really reduce that fraction, so I'm going to leave the answer like this. y is negative 99 over 4. If you want the decimal equivalent of that, This is negative 24.75. So that's how you can solve direct variation problems. By the way, for those of you who want more problems on direct variation, including inverse variation and even joint variation, check out the links in the description section of this video. I'm going to be posting some other content there that you might find interesting. Now let's work on this problem. For each function shown below, determine whether y varies directly with x. So we're given the data in a table. How can we find the answer? How can we determine if y varies directly with x? The key is to calculate the constant of variation, k. Keyword constant. For every pair 
of x and y values, k has to be the same. So remember, k is y divided by x. So if we take the y value and divide it by the x value, what do we get? 4 divided by 2 will give us k. So I'm just going to add another column for k. So 4 divided by 2, we know it's 2. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So notice that k is constant. It doesn't change. So because it's constant, we can say yes. For the first table, y varies directly with x because we have a constant of variation. Now what about the second table associated with b? Let's calculate k for each pair of x and y values. 3 divided by 1 gives us 3. 5 divided by 3, that's not 3, that's like 1.67 repeating or 1.6 repeating. 12 divided by 7, that's not going to be 3 either. 12 divided by 7 is approximately 1.71. So looking at the values of k, they're not the same. So we could say y does not vary directly with x. Now let's move on to part c. Let's calculate k. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 21 divided by 7 is 3. Negative 27 divided by negative 9. That's also 3. So for this table, k is constant, which means, yes, y varies directly with x. So that's how you could determine whether y varies directly with x or not. It's by calculating, let me say that again, it's by calculating the constant of variation. If it's the same for each pair of x and y values, then the answer is yes, y varies directly with x. Number three. The distance that Karen walks varies directly with the amount of time she spends walking. If Karen can walk two miles in 25 minutes, how many miles can she walk in one hour? So go ahead and pause the video and try this problem. It's another direct variation problem. What we know is that the number of miles that she walks, it varies directly with the time that she spends walking. So that is the minutes. So let's say Y corresponds to the mileage and X correspond to the time in minutes. So we can calculate K. K is gonna be Y over X. So two miles for every 25 minutes. So K is gonna be two over 25. So that's step one, finding the value of K. Step two is writing the equation. So Y is equal to KX. Let's substitute K with what it is, two over 25. So this is the equation. Now X has to be in minutes. It can't be in hours. How many miles can she walk in one hour? We need to convert hours to minutes. Fortunately, we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So all we need to do is plug in 60 into this equation, and that is going to give us the mileage that she can walk in one hour. So it's y is equal to 2 over 25 times 60. Now 60, we could break that into smaller numbers. 60 is 5 times 12. 25 is 5 times 5. So what we can do is cancel a 5. 2 times 12 is 24. So the answer is 24 
over 5 as an improper fraction, which is 4.8. And y is in miles. So the answer, if Karen can walk 2 miles in 25 minutes, she can walk 4.8 miles in 1 hour. So that's how you can use direct variation to answer questions like this.